welcome to shell scripting tutorial this is the fourth video session in this series of tutorial in this session we are going to learn about uh, few basic commands okay one is touch command mkdir command okay touch command is used to create empty files mkdir command is used to create directories okay, and parent directories cat command to see file content and create files with the few text in it ls command ls command is listing the files and directories so how we can list the files and directories in a different manner so you can see the few examples here changing the cd command we, we can use to changing the directories or entering into the directories okay so few directories if you want to change from directory to directory to work on the directory so that you can just uh, use the cd command to change so date command to see the date and change the system date okay we can also change the system date by using the date command okay and cal command to see the calendar okay calendar how we can see the calendar in different ways here we are going to see about the calendar and pwd is present working directory so whenever you change the multiple directories and uh, from directories to directories so that you whenever you are working on some directories so where you are in so you can just uh, make use of the pwd command to know that uh, present working directory okay so here we are going to just to see about the uh, the touch command first so how we can see the touch how we can use the touch command so currently i have a directory which is empty nothing is there ls command is used to see the files and directories so within the current uh, directory right so here i'm going to create a few files like um, touch command will create only empty files okay file 1 file 2 and uh, file 3 file 1 file 2 file 3 i'm going to create here so i have created the files ls and l will give the long list of the files in the sense which will give the uh, show the about the their permissions and ownership and the what is the file date and all the stuff using the ls and l okay touch command will create an empty files so if you give the the uh, space in the sense it will consider as a different file name okay if you want to create any one file name with the space so you can make use of the escape character here so whenever you are using the escape character here so before escape character whatever the character is there the character is considered as a null in the sense nothing is there okay ls and l so now you can see here file file 1 file 2 file 3 and ravi kumar file is created okay so now we are going to see about uh, touch command is completed and we are going to see about the mkdir command okay mkdir command will create an directories okay here i'm going to create an a um, video for okay so here is the video for directory has been created how we can identify that file or directory so here if you have an iphone it is called as an a file if here if you have an a d so d is called as an a directory okay so we can also create an a multiple directories parent directories using the mkdir iphone v iphone p okay so here i'm what i'm doing here is shell script video tutorial in the sense I'm going to create an a directories like this. Okay, shell script video tutorial. Okay, so here I have created four directories. In the sense, under the directory, one more directory, under the directory, one more directory, under the directory, one more directory like this. Okay, so if you are see here where you are in, so I am into the this. Okay. So, if you want to come back from there, you can also use cd dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash. In a sense, each dot dot will represent, uh, in the sense, each dot dot will come back from one directory to another directory. In the sense, one dot dot, these dot dot will come from tutorials to video, and these dot dot come from video to script, and these dot dot come from script to shell, 
and if I give one more dot dot slash so I will come to the shell scripting directory ok so where I am now so I am into the shell scripting directory clear is the command so which will clear your screen ok so cd so let's see about few things here few uh, this uh, we are going to discuss about this dot and dot dot this dot current one dot is going to represent the current directory and dot dot will represent a parent directory parent directory in the so it's parent directory in the sense so whatever the directory you are in so it's parent directory is what is the up directory is there that is the up directory of for the current directory in the sense slash is the main directory under the slash whatever the directories are there that are the directories if you want to go from one step up one step up one step up you can use cd dot dot ok if you want to come to the cell scripting you can use cd ok if you want to stay in the same current directory cd dot ok so this is the command we can use here if you want to go to the directly home directory you can also use cd tilde symbol tilde symbol ok tilde symbol will go to the direct to the wherever you are in ok you can just go to your home directory so currently my home directory is slash root you can just go to the home directory if you want to go back to the previous directory where you came from you can just use cd iphone ok cd iphone will change back to the where you previously came from see here so i have come back to the root if i go to the cd shell scripting like this you can also use the cd commands to change the directories so while using the cd command the cd command we can just use a two paths one is the relative path another one is the absolute path ok absolute path e which will complete path in the sense if you want to go to the some other directories let's say here so i want to go to the video 4 directory you can just use slash ok root desktop shell scripting and video 4 so this is an absolute path in the sense you are using an absolute where the absolute path will start from the slash ok so instead of using the absolute path you can also use the relative path this is the relative path relative path in the sense where you are currently so from that directory is to uh, uh, changing the to the another directory without typing any its absolute path in the sense exact path of the directory like this ok so here we have completed touch mkdar and cd commands ok we are going to see about the cat command ok just create any files and uh, date calendar and pwd pwd is command completed ok so just see here cat is the command to see the file content or we can also create some files here ok shell 1 i am just creating a file called shell 1 so here this is the first file we are creating ok here press ctrl d then the file will be saved and came back from the shell ok now let's see here the shell 1 directory so this is the first file we are creating so if you want to open the same file you can use the double redirection ok like this so now the first the first content of the file will not be shown but it will open to the second line I am saying that second line enter control D and cat shell 1 so that the file will be appended here ok so date command is the command to see your current system date so what is the date is there you can able to see here if you want to customize your date uh, as per your requirement ok you can also do that ok current um, like I want to see in a current day and current month current year ok you can also see like this if you there are the so many uh, date options you can also use C and a percentage F will give you the almost the same in the reverse format 
okay you can also include your uh, uh, seconds minutes something like that so any dividing options you can use iphone or slash okay you can use the divider or colon like this so i want to use instead of the iphone i want to use any colon so i can just use the colon like this so that the colon will be come here so that is about the date command just to see the date here currently what is the date and you can also customize your date as per your requirement okay now we are going to see about the calendar command so calendar will just type in a cal command so which will give the current month of the calendar so this is the october 2016 current date is 20 seconds so if you want to see any future uh, the previous calendar okay you can also use a like this 2017 i want to see the 2017 calendar so this is the 2017 calendar okay if you want to see an a few example for the calendars okay you can also like this so i want to see in a last three months three months date three months calendar you can also see like this okay august september october okay previous three months you can also see like this november october september okay so here are the few example for the calendar command okay you can see here calendar iphone one okay current month calendar you can also see specify the year you can also see the specified year you can also specify the particular month of the year okay if you want to see particular month of the year also you can specify like this so print the number of days in here using the f and j okay how many days are there in that uh, year you can also use f and j okay and a month uh, month uh, display monday as a first day of the week in the sense so whenever you are uh, the week is starting sunday here right so if you want to make this as a monday okay you can also use the this command okay your calendar start with the monday as a first one so here also i have any few examples for the date command okay you can also use any customized date and uh, read the date from the file and if you type already some uh, data into the file and you can also read from there and you can also convert your data using the universal epoch time epoch time is in the sense from the last uh, 1970 01 01 to now how many seconds are there okay that is the epoch time epoch time in a sense so whenever you are see the log files the log file will be there in the epoch time timings okay so display the past date in a sense what is the last year one year ago yesterday so what is yesterday's date so you can also see here what is the yesterday's date here okay if you want to see in a last year's date you can also see from here one month ago and uh, one day ago three seconds ago date okay changing the date and the time using the set option this is the set options we can change the our current system date from current date to what are the date you mentioned okay using the time okay printing the universal time in the sense currently what is the time it is showing here is the indian standard time but i want the universal time you can also use the date iphone u okay it is the utc time clock so here we can also see display the file modify timestamp in the sense uh, we have the few files here so you can also if you want to see this when this file is modified okay this is the time the file has been modified like that okay you can also specify your custom date and time like this whatever the time you want you can also see here right like this so pwd cal command date command cd command cat mkdr touch okay these are the basic commands 
okay we learned in this session thanks for watching if you have any questions and queries you can feel free to mail us we are going to help you okay this is our mail address you can send a feedback or your uh, improvements anything you wanted to suggest us you can just send us an email please subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos thanks for watching